welcome everyone to the beginning of mini project, lesson four of unit two. You have begun using HTML. Um, paragraphs, you know, you know, headers now. And today you're going to start working on the actual project where you plan it. You're going to be planning that project. You're going to have a activity guide that looks like this. And you have your main goal is listen to this question. How can I use HTML to express my personal value? Okay, not what you, not how valued you are, because you are awesome, but something that you value. Um, your, your web page is going to be for you, by you, and uh, that's something important to know. So you're going to have the activity guide, and you're also going to have this rubric, using computer languages, creating a digital artifact, debugging and cleaning, cleaning up your code, and program development. Uh, you can pause this now and take a quick look at it. The important thing is that you are you use HTML, paragraph and heading tags. Uh, there's minimal syntax errors. Uh, all the text in the page contained inside the elements. Inside, in between body and body, people create, uh, use a website, uses HTML tags to format the page. Um, your code is consistently well formatted and you gave thoughtful feedback to your peers. Okay, it's important that you give thoughtful feedback to your peers. Um, there is a feedback page, uh, peer review, that you should be looking at as well. Uh, that will be in your assignment in Google Classroom. So, we can move on. So you are gonna be making a web page for you, by you, gonna click continue. And it starts with some different activities. You're going to start with paragraph, debug tag. Um, this is just to remind you, it's review, how to do um, this. So choose one and then complete it. Okay? It's just to maybe choose, don't choose something you're already good at. Choose something that's going to challenge you. Maybe you were, you were uh, having a hard time with line break, the BR tag. Uh, Maybe you want to debug a little bit more. But anyways, I'm just going to um, move on so you can focus on your stuff. So choose from the following activities, breakfast foods, um, create an ordered list, create a bulleted list or an ordered list. Okay, and here you're going to add HTML to make the page you skipped in your online project. So here's what I want to get at. Um, so your defined goal, what personal value would you like to share with the world? So what would you like, what, is, what do you value that you want to share with others? How can your web page, so this is your topic up here. How can your web page design communicate your personal value? How does it do that? Well, people out in the world are going to see what I like because I chose this and I get to make it whatever I'm about. What content is important to include in your web page? So going beyond just the topic, what are you going to include? How should the content be organized? Hmm, what kind of organization are you going to put to it? Okay, just going to make a list. Are you going to make paragraphs? Are you going to kind of go back and forth? Going to add a lot of pictures. Okay, now you sketch it. How do I sketch this in Google Classroom, a doc, Google Doc? So here's what I did I went to my drive, I went to new, I went down to more, and I went to Google Drawings. Okay, and here's what I did I created an area where I will have pictures, what is a goalkeeper, I talk about, where I'll talk about what a goalkeeper is, my favorite goalkeeper, pick of a goalie diving, okay? This is how I would organize my information, me. Doesn't mean you're going to, 
You can do it however you want. But this is how I might organize my information. You might have lists, like, oh, I want to have my top five albums of all time, okay? Uh, my top five bands of all time, and my top five, actually, I might do that. That sounds more fun. My favorite playlist, and what my favorite exercise songs. I don't know. So then I might have pictures next to that. But the key is that you're using, um, you're going to use Google Drawings to do that. And then watch what I do. I'm going to go back to the document. Okay. And look, okay, it says you sketch your page. Well, I already sketched it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to, I'm going to click on here. I'm going to go to insert drawing from drive. I'm going to select that. Insert. Look at that. It just appears. So now you have what your drawing is going to look like, what your web page. This is going to help you plan. Like this is all about the planning. You might be thinking, well, I want to make sure it looks like this right away. Well, it's not how it works. You'll be able to add that stuff later. What HTML tags will you need for your page? Well, for me, I'm going to need some paragraph page. I'm going to need headers. Um, I'm going to need something that has to do with pictures. Maybe I need to format my pictures. So images are going to be in there. So you can write down everything that you need. So image headers, uh, paragraph, whatever you need, okay, everything. Think about every little thing you might need. This is just how to start. Then you're going to start creating, once I approve this, you're going to log into the website and create your page in web lab okay and what do you what's your favorite thing about it so you put in what's your favorite thing what's your favorite thing about your website maybe you like the formatting maybe it's you get to choose whatever you want um, it's up to you so the next thing we go back to code.org okay this is where we start adding what you're going to add now Mine has pictures in it, right? There's images. Do I know how to code images? Yeah. Do you? No. No, and that's okay. Okay, so in body and body, I'm going to have um, H1. Soccer page. Closing tag. Okay, now, here's where it starts. Is this centered like I had it in my drawing? Not at all, okay? I'm gonna learn how to do that later. I'm gonna put in my paragraph tag. I'm gonna start writing Am I really into soccer and goalkeepers? No, not necessarily, but I just wanted to relate to something. Um, so, go up. Okay, 
So does this look anything like what I plan on making it look like? I would say no. Okay, I mean, I don't have a picture. I don't have a picture here. It's not centered like I have it um, in my drawing. But you know what? We'll get there. Trust me. For now, you're just putting in all your information um, and all that good stuff. So that... Um, you continue working on this, take some time. Uh, it says add HTML to make the page you sketched in your project guide. You will get there. It might not look how you're gonna want it today, but it will be later. Okay, this is why I wanted to teach you that. So at the end, as you progress, it will look so much more like you want it. Okay. Then finally, um, Check to make sure all the content is there. Check that the HTML tags structure the content correctly. Okay, these are your HTML tags. Make sure your code is organized, readable, and free, to, free, free of bugs. Notice how I put spaces in between everything. That's what you should do. Put spaces so it's easy for someone to read. Okay? At least put it... White space on here does not appear in. In your actual code. Okay, this is how I want it to look. Make sense. Alright, so now you can see I have added some to my website. Um, notice how I have a problem here that I need to debug but does this look exactly like um, and this is my first page does that look exactly like what I have here I think you know the answer to that I say no that means I have some work to do and I have some learning to do because I don't know how to do this so you're gonna want to pay close attention as we move through the rest of the unit so that you can format using um, CSS to help make that look more like what you want it to look like. Um, so the key is look through the rubric right now and get some feedback. Look at your rubric and how it compares to uh, this. I noticed that not everything neat has uh, the right coding. So I need to make sure I go back and Um, add that because otherwise um, it's going to look funky and I'm not going to be where I want as far as um, on my using computer languages, creating digital artifact and clean code and debugging. So that's lesson four of unit two where you're actually gonna start making your website, many project, and this will, this is actually the beginning of a bigger assignment that will take you um, to the end of the unit. So take care, remember that uh, you're in charge of your own happiness, and we will see you later as soon as I add this. Um, Tag for that paragraph. Closing. Not sure why that's being funky because I have an opening tag. I should have to have a closing tag as well. Anyway, 
enjoy the rest of your day and I will catch you later.